Hello, I thought I would come at you real quick with a tutorial on how to split a transaction in QuickBooks Online. I am using the sample company. This is a QuickBooks test drive version, and I just thought I would jump right into it. So when you see the transactions populate in your bank feed, um, you can go ahead and click on either the description, the payee, or the category or match. And it kind of like expands. So in this expanded window, you'll see kind of like all of the options that you have available to you. And it depends on like which QuickBooks online version you're using. You might see more options than this. So for example, if you have class or location tracking on, you would see those populate in this section here. Now, no matter what, you know, version of QuickBooks Online you have, you can go ahead and jump to this button called split right here. And you can use this on the received column or also on the spent column. So you go ahead and click on that. It opens up a separate window. Um, it's kind of just native within the intuitive platform. And you can start categorizing it this way. You can have multiple received froms. So let's just say this is gonna be sales that's 50 and then maybe you sold a product i'm just sort of throwing this out as an example you so you can just kind of see so maybe it's commissions or whatever you know take your pick so you can do it this way what it shows you is kind of like the split amount and then the original amount the split amount is going to be the total of these columns here the original amount is going to be the amount that came in through the bank feed and then there's going to show it's going to show you the difference so you want to make sure that the difference is zero always if you want to write a memo you can write a memo accounting and bookkeeping or whatever the case may be. Um, you can write descriptions. If you have class uh, location, you'll have those as additional columns here as well. And you can always add more lines. So you can go pretty far down with this if you wanted to. Once you're done and balanced to zero, you would go ahead and click on apply and accept. And then it would just tell you transaction categorized. So that means it's been accepted into your general ledger. So that's on the received side. On the expense side, it's going to be the same situation. So you find the split button here, go ahead and click on that. And you can assign, you know, just one payee, um, the category, let's say, okay, so let's say this is burgers, you know, it's going to be meals and entertainment, and then maybe it was gas or something like that for, oh, let's see, it's fuel, there we go, for $100, and then you would write, you know, employee party, holiday party, or whatever the case may be apply and accept. But you can also add lines here as well. And the same kind of like thought goes with this as well. So there's the split amount, original amount, and then the difference. If it's billable to a client, you would select this button here and then go ahead and click on apply and accept. Now, when you split a transaction, that is really only going to happen through the bank feed. If you needed to, let's say, code one transaction to multiple different categories, you can also do that just by way of using one of these um, plus new items, and then it would just be called add lines. So you would just add however many lines you needed to for an expense, for a sales receipt, you know, for a journal entry, for just a bank deposit, whatever the case may be, you know, there's already lines available to you on this journal entry, and then you can go ahead and add lines. So that's kind of like the same idea of uh, splitting a transaction is coding it to multiple categories or accounts or however you refer to your GL, to your general ledger, so to speak. All right, friends. Well, that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions on this, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.